Welcome to an example of a composition of three functions. Given function f, g, and h, we want to determine f of g of h of x, which we can write using this notation here or this notation here. I prefer the notation on the right because it's easier to tell. We're going to start with the innermost function and work our way out. But remember, we can also think of this as f after g after h of x. In this composition, we don't have an input for function h, so we're going to go ahead and replace h of x with the square root of x. So this is going to be equal to f of g, and we're replacing h of x with the square root of x. Now that we've performed the first substitution, notice how the inner function is g of the square root of x. So now we're going to go to function g and replace x with the square root of x. So this would give us f of Replacing x with the square root of x here, we would have two times the square root of x squared. And this simplifies to just two x. So now we want to determine f of two x. Which means we're going to replace x with two x in function f. So this would give us two x to the third minus two x and then plus one. So this will give us uh, two to the third is eight, x to the third minus two x plus one. So this would be our composite function, f of g of h of x. So now let's take a look at a second example where we're given a value of x for the initial input. So here we have the same composite function, but we're given the initial value of x is equal to positive four. So for this composition, we can actually find a numerical value for this composite function. And there's actually two ways of doing this. Since we already determined the composite function on the previous slide, or this function here, we can actually just substitute four for x into our composite function, which would give us eight times four to the third minus two times four plus one. Well, four to the third is equal to 64. 64 times eight is 512 minus eight plus one. This is equal to 505. So f of g of h of four is equal to 505. Now I would like to show a second method for determining this composite function value. For example, let's say we didn't have this composite function here. We probably wouldn't determine the composite function and then substitute four in for x. We would probably take a different approach, which I'll show now. We'll start with f of g of h of four. And we'll start by determining the value of h of four. Well, if we substitute four for x in function h, we would have the square root of four, which is equal to two. So we can replace h of four with two, which would give us f of g of two. Now we'd evaluate g of two. Well, if we substitute two into function g, we'd have two times two squared, or two times four, which is equal to eight. So this would simplify to f of eight. And then we'd replace x with eight in function f which would be eight to the third minus eight plus one. Well, eight to the third is 512 minus eight plus one. Notice how the value is the same, which it should be. F of G of H of four is equal to 505. So of course, whichever method we use, the value of the composite function when x equals four will be the same.